Hello and welcome to another Raggies uh, beer haul video. So today we've been to Tesco's in Salisbury and I picked up a load of beers. Um, there was eight trad beers, one craft beer and a lovely um, cream stout. So I'll, I'll work through the beers. The trad beers were all on a four for seven. So it was well worth doing the four. I know it's four for seven. It used to be four for six. Um, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it, uh, apart from not buying. But you're not punishing the breweries, really, because the breweries get little money anyway. It's it's only the retail that you'd be punishing, because um, the greed of retail, you know, in, in, in the way they are. So anyway, I'll go through the beers. First one is Exmoor Stag. Um, Got to be honest, never had this beer before. Originally brewed to celebrate Somerset County's Cricket Club's centenary in 1991. This beer is a dark, amber-strong premium bitter with a good malty taste. Uh, full up to aroma and a long dry finish with a hint of sweetness. Traditionally brewed from crystal and chocolate malts and a blend of four hop varieties, Fuggles, Goldings, First Gold and Bobek. A beer to um, savior on its own, and a great match for roast meat and steaks. 5.2%, so that's the first beer, on a four for seven. Next up, from Buckham Gold, from Buckham Brewing Company, Gold Nail. Um, go gold or go home My, made from dazzling marisotta malt our exceptional golden ale won't disappoint part bitter, part sweet and 100% refreshing fearlessly brewed, this is a well balanced full bodied golden beer with a subtle floral and herby aroma uh, a true Bristol sunset in a bottle worth its weight in gold 4.4% book and brewing. So next up, again, four for seven, Exmoor Gold Ale. So, the original golden ale, it says here. The original golden single malt ale, a natural, glorious golden colour. Its juicy malt aroma has just a hint of vanilla with citrus hops. Citric, citric ops, rather. Uh, it starts bittersweet in the mouth and finishes dry and intensely hoppy. Uh, Exmoor Gold is brewed using traditional methods and the finest ingredients. 5% ABV. So, fourth on the list is again from Book and Brewing. And it's Adam Henson's Rare Breed Pale Ale, 4.2%. And it says it, it's not every day you meet a farmer as passionate about sustainability as Adam Henson. His Cotswold grown Marisotta barley helps produce a seriously char characterful pale ale, all within a stone's throw of Bristol. Brewed with. I can't believe what that says. Men something, men dip, spring water, um, and fruity cascade and amarillo hops. It's refreshing, citrusy and smooth with an amber hue. A rare brood. We wouldn't call it anything less. There you go. So, first time of seeing that and uh, certainly at some stage, first time reviewing it. So, next up. From Book and Brewing Company, sure I've had this before, sometime in the past. Stateside Session IPA. I feel sure I've seen it and had it, from maybe from Lidl or somewhere. 4.2%. Um, everything's bigger and brighter in the US of A. Inspired by the land of the free. Brewed in the West Country, this is a punchy... Session IPA made from the best of the best American English hops, hops and malts. A refreshing transatlantic 
um, marriage of citrus, resinous, aromatics, and a multi-bite. Live the American dream, 4.2%. So, next up, again, a 4 for 7 fee. And again, another 4 for 7 beer, Dartmoor Brewery, JLA. Have had this before, years ago. 4.8%. A full-bodied, deep amber beer with a well-rounded flavour and a rich Moorish aftertaste. Dartmoor Brewery is the highest brewery in England, situated at 1,465 feet above sea level in the heart of the beautiful Dartmoor National Park. Uh, this superb beer is a traditionally brewed using only the finest ingredients, English malt, Dartmoor water, hops and yeast. Dartmoor Brewery's beers have been, what's that, enjoyed by beer lovers across the South West and beyond since 19, if that's 94 or 44, I can't make it out. Uh, but there you go, Dartmoor Jail. So, next up on the four for seven is Bookham Original Beer. Never had this beer either. So, you can spot a true original a mile off. Laukau Original Brew. Bristol born and made to stand out. Created from Marisotta malt and a secret blend of English hops. Um, meticulously crafted before craft was such a thing. It's distinctive bitter clean and refreshing flavour has been Bristol's go-to for good times since the 1970s. Uh, from the first sip I don't, I don't know which one's to the last drop, you'll never taste a beer quite like this. So, 4.5%. There we go. Right, and the last of the four for sevens. So, Wow, big beer, all from Tesco's today. And this is from Black Sheep Brewery. It's their Cry Wolf. Um, yeah, uh, obviously Yorkshire being Black Sheep. Fierce black IPA brewed with a, a pack of North American hops. Uh, I can't read the writing on the back. Gotta be honest. Not in this light. 5%. So, yeah, that's number eight. Number nine from this region is uh, Northern Monk and their Slurpus Pur Surplus, rather. Purplus. And it's their Pumpkin Spice Latte Porter. Obviously, Northern Monk, king of the. Um, Gimmick beers. It's five percent. Says stop wasting food. Uh, Eighteen thousand tons of pumpkin is wasted every year in the UK. Is that is that not just through Halloween? Uh, begs that question, doesn't it? I won't read the back of it. I'll do all that on the review. But um, yeah, begs the question. And last, but certainly not least, not for me anyway, is from Hotel Chocolate. And uh, this was reduced to 18 quid. 18 quid is still a good price, mind you. You know, um, let's be fair. It is certainly a price. And it's a velvetized chocolate cream rum and raisin. Like a, like a Bailey's cream stout, but a rum and raisin. Rum, vodka, chocolate cream. It's only 12% for 500 mils. So it is not, I repeat, cheap. You know, you're paying for a brand here. Um, we're the only chocolatier to run two bars. One in London's Borough Market and another at our hotel in St. Lucia. Surrounded by cacao, we started stirring it into cocktails. Um, the nibs, the shells and the resulting creamy chocolate. Uh, dark and stormy Caribbean rum, balanced by the naturally sweet molasses notes of red raisins. 
and vulvicized with vodka, dark chocolate and real cream. So it sounds amazing. It's only 12%. Bailey's is 17%, original Bailey's at least. I'm not so sure about the variants. So it's interesting nonetheless. And that is my Tesco's beer haul. Uh, nine new beers. Uh, one, I, I, you know, cream liqueur. And, uh, yeah, another beer haul. Well, I've still not had it. And uh, we are now at uh, Ramsbury, Blue Nose, Tesco's, um, Dark Revolution. So that is four beer halls already. Two more to go. Wow.